Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. So I was guided to do a pre-shuffle. So um, I wrote down all the messages I got with the pre-shuffle. I'm sure there's a million more messages that I can get with this. But I'll try to keep it as short as possible so that we can get into the rest of the reading. So um, originally I pulled the hangman and the tower here. So the signs you could be dealing with is Pisces, Aries, Taurus, or another Scorpio. Somebody could have a moon in Taurus. Um, or you could have these signs in your chart. Okay, Scorpio. Um, let's see here. December 2023 could be very significant. Um in regards to this or this individual that I'm going to be speaking about here, because I do feel like, um, well, yes, some of these messages are, or were about you and like your spiritual growth and things like that. Um, I feel like ultimately this is about something external of you or something that's happening outside of you and to someone else, but because of you or not because of you, but whatever it is that they did to you, Scorpio. All right. So this, it, uh, the messages I got was their arrogance and pride has led them to their downfall. This is someone who thought that they were God or untouchable. Somebody who thought that they were invincible. Um, this is someone who could have been very selfish, arrogant. Um, somebody who was like dangerously overconfident about something or just in general, somebody who could have gotten very complacent in life. Um, <clears throat> but something is shaking or has shaken this person's world up with the tower here. Um, you could have someone here in your life. All right. Someone in your life could have been tested. Their trust and loyalty was being tested. And I feel like it was being tested by your spirit team. And whoever was being tested here um, failed miserably. Scorpio 233 on the timer. Okay, they failed miserably. Um, and I feel like spirit was testing this person. For their own reasons, I suppose, to see if, I guess, this person was worthy of being in your life or not. Um, but also so that you can see something or see the truth of something. Okay. You may be having a new perspective on this individual, this situation. You may be going through a lot of spiritual growth right now. You may be having a shit ton of epiphanies um, and a lot of like mind blowing epiphanies. So this is like the energy of, you know, when you're like, have you ever been washing dishes and, you know, thoughts just kind of start coming and all of a sudden you're piecing the puzzle pieces together of certain things. And it's just like, boom. Yeah, that's kind of what this feels like. Um, so the, a lot of this could be going on for you, Scorpio. Somebody could be going through a destruction, an ego, ego death at this time, a destruction of their ego. Uh, someone may be learning what self-sacrifice or is going to be learning what self-sacrifice is, especially if this is someone who was given things all their life and not having to work for it with the eight of pentacles there, um, Okay, this is somebody who could have just always had their hand out, six of pentacles, gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, I've, I also got a very entitled energy with this um, individual or this energy here. Whoever this is, is also having a realization that the reason they're going through some sort of tower in their life um, may be uh, due to their own selfishness with you and possibly with others that they may have been selfish with. This is someone who you may start seeing, like they might start being more generous with you, others, or you might, you might hear them say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I just, you know, uh, helped out a homeless person, or I just gave to charity, or I just, da, da, da. you know what I'm saying? It's somebody who's, who, who you will hear, they'll, they'll, I feel like you'll hear about it or they'll speak about it. Okay. 
Now, a message I got for you, Scorpio, is be careful of self-sacrificing your time or energy for anyone who is selfish or comes to you for advice and doesn't adhere to it and ends up in a shitstorm. <laughs> okay. Um, you may have uh, also warned this individual uh, about something here. So, you know, you could be very intuitive. You could be psychic. You could be a... Um, uh, you could have prophetic dreams. You could be a prophet. You could be a high priest, a tarot reader, whatever, Scorpio. But what, what I do know is that you have very strong psychic and intuitive abilities. And for some of you, very strong prophetic uh, abilities, the ability of prophecy. Um, and that'll come differently for everybody, how that appears. But anyways, you may have warned this individual of a tower. You may have warned this individual like, hey, listen, you know, if you go down this direction, there may be a tower, you know, um, somebody here could have been very, very greedy. All right. You may have first foreseen something. You may have definitely prophesied something to this person. Again, um, a lot of downloads, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of putting the puzzle pieces together. You could be going through a crown, um, chakra activation at this time. There could have been a period where your crown chakra was blocked here or something in regards to this individual was blocking your crown okay um well that's what that's what this person's like intention was um but uh it seems again like they failed miserably um but yeah after that i decided to pull an oracle card which i got the wall um which says the wall obstacles in reverse so for me, that's letting me know that there's some sort of blockages or obstacles being lifted. Whatever wall was there is being bulldozed down, Scorpio. And I get the feeling that this individual was behind this obstacle, this wall that was built there. And that could have been the blockage around the crown chakra here. Um... I don't know, like dealing, dealing with this person, um, whoever this individual is to you, they, you could have had like, I don't know, let's say you're somebody who tends to have like a lot of dreams. Okay. Um, maybe your dreams lessened. Maybe you stopped having so many dreams or, um, I don't know. There was something about your crown chakra being blocked. Okay. Um, maybe feeling confused, not having a, a clear mind or whatever. Somebody was definitely, or whoever this individual was, was definitely trying to create this blockage here. Um, There was another message I got here about this person or the situation for you, Scorpio. Um, Yeah, somebody here, again, going to the message of somebody here thought that they were like God or thought that they could play God, um, thought that they were like invincible or above all. This is like somebody, this is like somebody claiming I'm a chosen one, you know, blah, 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 but is a shit person, okay, and thinks because, I don't know, like, I don't know, it's somebody... <laughs> who thinks that they are above all, right? Or they use a, a t like they 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 believe they're above all and like and then boom, a tower hits. I don't know. Anyways, uh the other message I was getting real quick was the trust being tested with this person. This is somebody who could have been they could have owed you money. Okay, Scorpio. Um They could have been holding on to some sort of material things or some some sort of your possessions here. And maybe you were trusting this person with your possessions, all right, to keep them safe, to keep them secure. And you may have received some sort of a epiphany or download, okay, about this individual. I feel like wanting to maybe do something here. to your possessions, to your material things, to your 
money for some of you. Um, mm. Whatever this is, this is an individual who's absolutely like going through some shit in their life. This hangman card says involuntary submission. So this isn't somebody who willingly said, oh yes, let me go into this hangman position. No, this is spirit. This is the divine saying, okay, we're going to put you in timeout right now because you were being tested. Okay, your loyalty to Scorpio was being tested and you failed miserably. So whatever this person was doing behind the scenes to fail this test, like that's why they're going through a tower right now. All right. You might start seeing this person like trying to be more generous or charitable or kind. Um, I feel like this person is trying to balance out their karma. This person's very well aware that they're going through some sort of karma due to their selfishness. And it's like, oh, well, let me do this, that and the third to balance out this debt, to balance out this karma. All right. I feel like you definitely... Um, with the death and the high priestess, you may have worn this person with the high priestess here you and the six of pentacles. You may have given this person some sort of knowledge um, or shared some sort of experience with this person, you know, um, could be about something spiritual here, whatever. Um, I don't know. This person just didn't listen. That's what it feels like. Um, but whatever obstacles or blockage this person was trying to cause you here Scorpio it's being removed all right all right so let's get into the reading six of cups wanting to jump out in reverse Scorpio energy. Give me a little more on the Six of Cups jumping out. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. The Hangman here at the bottom with the Four of Pentacles. High Priestess, Four of Cups, and the Devil. Yeah, somebody was very selfish here. Okay. For some of you, there's a message here where somebody, now for some of you, this could be a mother. Okay, well, in the pre-shuffle, I, I was picking up a masculine energy, okay, heavy masculine energy. Um, now, another message here could be about a feminine energy, could be about the same individual, but I feel like there's something here, Scorpio. Now, this could be about your childhood, or this could be about your children and their childhood, all right? But something here, the wheel is turning and it's turning for the better. It's turning in your favor here, Scorpio. Some of you may have experienced a very difficult childhood here due to having, you know, selfish mother, selfish father, parents, step parents, whatever. Um, you may have had to self sac you may have had to sacrifice your childhood. And you may have had to you may have had to grow up very, very quickly here, Scorpio. And I feel like there's good karma coming your way for the difficult childhood that you did have. Okay. It's going to look differently for everybody, but there's definitely a message I'm getting. Now, same goes like if, if your children had a very difficult childhood growing up, Scorpio, and maybe they're adults now for some of you, or maybe they're teenagers. I feel like things are going to be changing drastically for you and your child or your children. All right. Um, something is, is definitely changing here. And if there's karma coming your way. It's good. It's like... It's what's fated. It's what's destined, Scorpio. <sighs> it's.
it's like you're not, uh, a lot of you are not letting, excuse me, a lot of you are not letting the effects, the negative effects of the past affect your future. Um, wow. Some of you here could be very like successful, um, Business owners, or you just may be very successful in your career, very financially stable, very financially secure, prosperous. I feel like there's a change in your luck for the better here, Scorpio, a change, especially when it comes to your stability or your career, your finances. Something is not going to be difficult anymore, okay? Or like some sort of bad memories, um, negative nostalgia coming up. It's, it feels like it's almost being rectified i'm hearing wiped clean hmm. the hangman here there's that selfish individual again i feel like yeah you see somebody could have been hoarding some sort of possessions or just very um controlling when it came to the money or some sort of fortune or wealth and um they're getting some sort of karma here, Scorpio. I feel like there's definitely a cycle of prosperity that's coming in for you, a cycle full of wealth. And it could be financial wealth. This could be wealth um, looking like a wealth of opportunities when it comes to career. Um a lot of creativity. Some of you are going to be able to experience your childhood again in some sort of way, but like not, how can I say this? Like if it was negative, I feel like you're going to, how can I say this? You're going to be able to rewrite your childhood. That's what I want to say. It feels like you're almost going to be able to have the opportunity to rewrite your childhood, Scorpio, and almost make something out of whatever it is that you're rewriting. Okay. Um... I don't know what that means, but that is going to be different for everybody. It's kind of what I'm, spirit is giving to me. Spirit, give me a little more messages on the pre-shuffle and any other messages you may have for Scorpios at this time. The chariot. <clears throat> so yeah, I see you having forward movement here, Scorpio. Having progress in your life moving in the right direction, the direction that you're needing to go in. And like I said before, this is somebody who is trying to block your path um, in some capacity, blocking your crown chakra so that you can't, you know, you have a fuzzy um, mind. You can't think straight. Like you're pushing past all of those obstacles that were being put in front of you. Hmm. I feel like things are opening up for you. I just heard the, the gates are opening up for you, Scorpio. Whatever that means for you. All right, Cancer Energy here. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Okay, so for some of you, um, you're definitely moving in the direction of the Ace of Cups here. So, um, Or you have the opportunity to move towards the Ace of Cups. So there is the opportunity of new love coming in, Scorpio. This could be romantic. All right, this could be a new friendship for some of you. Um, new baby, marriage, all right? This could just be a new creative project, something that you look at as your baby. But I feel like you are determined 
to go after the things that makes your heart explode, that makes you overwhelmingly happy, Scorpio. The Six of Swords at the bottom. Some of you may definitely be um, traveling, making plans to travel. You may be relocating. I've been getting that relo relocating energy a lot for Scorpios. But a lot of you are, you know, energetically too. You know, we're just, um, not literally speaking, but you may be moving away from certain individuals moving on from certain situations and going towards what is new here for some of you there's some sort of new spiritual uh, a new spiritual gift that's opening up your intuition is opening up there's something here around your heart chakra as well that's opening up or activating The sun, oh my gosh, I love it, Scorpio. I love it. Look at that. Seven of Wands. Some of you really had to put up a fight here, defend yourselves against some sort of opposition. Um, now, this could be in the physical or this could be spiritual for a lot of you. I feel like it was definitely spiritual. Um, but a lot of you had to fight for this new beginning. You had to fight for these blockages and obstacles to be cleared away. And I don't feel like it was an easy feat at all. It's like a lot of you through this process or whatever was going on in that situation, the pre-shuffle, it's like you had to learn how to navigate something. It's like learning how to navigate a vehicle in treacherous weather. All right. Having to maintain control of a vehicle on like an extremely windy, windy highway, right? Um, <sighs> hmm. This is beautiful, Scorpio. For some of you, there's definitely like either um, a, the birth of a new child here, whether it's you or someone in your family, the birth of a new creation or project that's going on. A lot of you are definitely going to be reaching some sort of goal um, successfully. You're, I feel like you're definitely moving into brighter, lighter, happier times. All is well as what the sun card says, Scorpio. Some of you may be getting a new pet. But you're determined. You're determined to have this ace of cups, determined to have the sun. To have that happiness. To have positivity flowing in and all around your life, Scorpio. To have the simple pleasures. I feel like there's a lot of energy that's coming into your life um, as well. This individual could have been depleting you of your energy, however it is that they were doing it. I feel like I got that energy recently too. Something about it, like an energy vampire or something. But yeah, if this is somebody you were expending, you know, time, energy, money or resources to, like, this is, this person was sucking it out at you. All right. Hmm. Wow. What else here for Scorpios? Numbers 119, 911 could be significant as well as 711. Scorpio. Death card. Scorpio energy. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. There's definitely endings for new beginnings to happen here, Scorpio. Major transformations going on, going through a meta, a metamorphosis right now. For a lot of you, this um, transition, some of you may be transitioning in the sense of like, maybe you, you may be leaving one job and going to another, leaving one career, going to another, uh, you know, leaving one home or a place that you're living in, moving somewhere else. There definitely could be a transition like that that's going on for some of you. 
for those of you, there's like a transition, an internal transition that's going on. Like you're, you're changing, you're shifting, um, you're moving forward, you're ascending and there's just certain people and things and, uh, you know, patterns and behaviors that no longer serve you on this new path that you're going on and you're needing to leave it behind. There's a lot of purging going on. I feel like I said that in another reading too. A lot of purging, a lot of releasing going on, Scorpio. But you have a lot of strength and determination through this transformation. Like you're in total control of this transformation is what this feels like, Scorpio. You have control of the wheel right now. And we're... You drive your chariot. Knight of Pentacles. So keep keep working um, or keep putting in the hard work and the energy and the effort into... Um, Anything that you are doing here, Scorpio, because I feel like you will be reaping the rewards, reaping the benefits um, of it. OK, a lot of you could be um, doing things to create more of a schedule for yourself, being more um, trying to be more productive in your day. So a lot of you could be doing things to. Um, like for your health, you could be exercising, you could be. Uh, just getting a lot more done during the day, Scorpio, being more efficient with your time. If there was like a, t a period here where there was any energy of procrastination, I feel like that's coming to an end. Let me see. Four of Wands and the Star, yeah. What else here for Scorpios? Some of you, there could be an offer coming in, job opportunity, career opportunity, financial opportunity. Um, yeah, opportunities coming in, Scorpio. There could be more than one opportunity coming in for you, actually. Um, and you do, you know, Seven of Cups is that card of, yes, there are a lot of opportunities, but not every single opportunity is going to be good for you, right? So having to use your intuition, um, Queen of Swords, using that sword to sift through the cups and seeing what is in there um, with clarity, all right? Cutting away any illusions or um, anything like that. Somebody selling you a dream, you're able to see right through that bullshit, Scorpio. <laughs> Nobody can play you in that sense, but um, wow. Wow. I feel like a lot of, of my Scorpios are you're you're going to be um finding your purpose or stepping into your purpose. You may have been in the energy of searching for your purpose, like I don't know what my purpose is, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this or this or this or that. You're going to be gaining that clarity. Um and it's gonna put you on a path full of success and happiness, Scorpio. Because I feel like you're going to be doing something here that you truly, truly enjoy. That brings you great happiness, warmth, and positivity. You guys are definitely going through a death rebirth process here. And the rebirth looks beautiful, Scorpio. Page of Cups. Yeah, definitely a lot of um, opportunities coming in. There could be creative opportunities that are coming in. Pay attention to your intuition. Um, a lot of intuitive messages coming through, but in the form of like, you know, messages through animals, messages through music, movies, shows, things like that. Um, some of you may be stepping into a new creative path. 
something where you can allow your creativity, your imagination to kind of be let loose and run wild here, Scorpio. There's definitely new love coming in for some of you, Scorpios. For some of you, this could be in the form of a child, all right? If it's not you, this could be someone close to you in your family who's having a child, all right? Um, for the for others of you, it could be like a new pet or something. No, <laughs> I have gotten that energy with the Ace of Cups before and Page of Cups. Um, so that the, the, the pet can be your new baby, all right? But, um... Beautiful energy here, Scorpio. The five of wands. Did you hit? It sounded like a clash right there with the card. So something is clashing here. What is the five of, of wands about? The moon. I feel like you have somebody who's like secretly in competition with you, Scorpio, and you and this person may be clashing in some way, either now or in the near future. But it's like you intuitively know why you and this person are are clashing or coming into some sort of conflict or disagreement is because this person is secretly in competition with you. They're trying to hide the fact or, or, or bring about an illusion like they're not, but they really are. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this person could be younger than you. You definitely could have envy around you, jealousy around you with the five of wands because... Um, there could be some sort of success that's coming in for you here, Scorpio, with the world card at the bottom, um, something you're completing or accomplishing here, some sort of goal that you're achieving due to your hard work, due to, um, you being responsible and efficient and productive, like you're getting something done and, and you're going to be reaping the rewards, the benefits, you're going to be seeing the success of it. And you do have people who are not liking it with the five of wands. I mean, I feel like I get this energy all the time. It's, it's basic shit at this point, Scorpio. All right. The sun and the moon here, whatever was hidden, okay, is being revealed. Whoever was in competition with you, whoever saw you as competition, as their rival, especially if this was somebody you considered a friend or a family member or a lover, it's going to be revealed to you, Scorpio. Also, there could be like fighting that's going on behind the scenes that you may not be seeing right now. Maybe you're picking up on it intuitively or through your dream state or something here, Scorpio. You, there's some sort of arguing that's going on behind the scenes between a group of people here. I feel like with time, temperance, I mean, mm, uh, okay, I meant the sun card. Could be dealing with Sagittarius with the temperance card. I mean, with me saying temperance, but something here about divine timing or having patience, all right? But things are going to be revealed. Yes, yeah, it's a celebration of life. Somebody may actually be giving birth, Scorpio, or finding out that they're pregnant. I feel like that's it's going to bring in a lot of excitement for you. I just, somebody could be becoming like an, um... An, an auntie okay the hangman coming out yeah i feel like your perspective on a lot of things is shifting and changing and this the hangman came out in the pre-shuffle too scorpio um pisces energy here Some of you could be gaining some sort of downloads about, um, hmm, these downloads could be very like inspirational. These could be downloads about something that spirit may be urging you to create as well. Hmm. Give me a little more here for Scorpios. 
the queen of pentacles something here scorpio i feel like um if spirit is giving you some sort of idea or download um and you get this urge to create something don't hold yourself back okay queen of pentacles something here um like whatever this project is or this cre creation okay could actually bring in opportunities growth um financial growth here for you scorpio yeah you see the ace of pentacles abundance manifestation opportunity new career financial opportunity new venture prosperity yeah something here is going to be very prosperous we have three aces out here ace of pentacles ace of wands ace of cups i mean scorpio this is beautiful your new chapter your new beginnings is full of nothing but beautiful energy <laughs> i'm done scorpio the nine of cups four of pentacles at the bottom some of you may be saving money at this time. Um, really focus on your financial security, your stability. Uh, being very conservative um, as well, resourceful, right? But Nine of Cups, this is your wishes coming true here, Scorpio. This is emotional satisfaction, emotional stability, gratitude. A lot of you are very this is beautiful you're moving into a very beautiful energy and time here scorpio ace of cups and the nine of cups there's absolute like this is ultimate joy and happiness the ten of cups a lot of blessings coming in a lot of you are in this energy four of pentacles queen of swords where you are conserving your energy your time your money your resources setting boundaries with certain individuals and not allowing anybody to take advantage any more of that shit scorpio protecting your heart you know people you could come off a little you could, you could be coming off closed off right now scorpio all right very detached very closed off um Shit, people might be saying, like, Scorpio got the RBF, you know, rest in bitch face. Like, people might, what's wrong with you today? Like, nothing's wrong with me. I'm great. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like, Scorpio, I, I feel like you're in this energy, too, because you, you don't want to experience the Five of Cups anymore. You no longer want to experience sadness, um, disappointment, regrets, losses, the world card. You're You're done with that cycle, and you're moving into something beautiful and new here. Feeling very whole and complete within yourself. Ten of Wands here. It's been a rough cycle, Scorpio. I feel like I say that all the time. All right, let's see what other messages are coming through for Scorpios. messages for scorpios two of swords judgment so scorpio this could be you or somebody else the numbers 220 could be significant or 2020 could be significant but somebody here is um at a crossroads indecisive judgment is here there's a decision that needs to be made Somebody may be refusing to listen to their intuition here as well, ignoring their intuition. Five of Swords. Mm. Scorpio. Hmm. Scorpio, I feel like your intuition is telling you to like evade or block somebody out. This is somebody who's going through some sort of karma. They're under judgment at this time. Um, again, going back to the pre-shuffle and what I said, very selfish individual. I mean, the five of swords right here says selfishness. So I feel like this is going back to that individual where 
Uh, yeah, they're going through some sort of karma. If they're not right now, they're about to. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, wow. If this isn't... Okay. So the pre-shuffle. If that's not happening to that individual just yet, Scorpio, it's about to because the, tr the, the trust is being tested. So somebody who thought that they could have one up on you, they could defeat you. Somebody thought you were naive. Jokes on this person. Uh, you're very intuitive <laughs> with the page of cups here. Very psychic even. Wow. This person could have been emotionally manipulative as well. Like, this is an individual who saw your purity, saw your innocence, and um, it's kind of took advantage of that with the Five of Swords. I feel like you are follow trusting your intuition, following your intuition here, Scorpio, when it comes to maybe not communicating with this person, blocking this person out, evading phone calls, text messages. Um... Yeah. Uh, again, like what I said in the beginning, you may ha be having a lot of epiphanies and realizations at this time. And this individual, their actions, their energy is being brought to light to you, I feel like. But for somebody thinks you are blind to this. duality with the two of swords somebody doesn't know you have like a dual nature to you yes you can appear innocent and naive and you know what i'm saying full of life and you know page of cups just this ha, da, 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 dreamy type of person but you're there's this dual energy where scorpio you're also very intuitive Ace of Pentacles. There's something here about meeting challenges. This is what I'm saying. I feel like somebody was trying to challenge you or mentally challenge you. Feels like mental warfare or something here. And um, I feel like you met you met the challenge, Scorpio. Okay. You met the challenge, and because of that, I don't know, there's some sort of prosperity or success that's here for you with the ace of pentacles, a blessing that's here for you due to whatever the frick is was going on here oh my goodness king of cups i feel like you definitely had to keep your composure in a situation here scorpio you had to keep your composure definitely emotional manipulation is here now that the King of Cups is here with the Five of Swords, I'm telling you, somebody saw you as, like, you could be younger than this person, or it's just the fact that this person saw you as, like, young-minded and naive and innocent. Like, I could emotionally manipulate Scorpio. 
I can do this, do that. That could be the crown chakra block blockage. Or somebody trying to mentally manipulate you or emotionally manipulate you even. Scorpio. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's a fresh start that's coming in for you here, Scorpio. I feel like there, there was some sort of mental warfare, okay? Judgment is going in your favor and you're getting some sort of fresh start here. The four swords, there's resting, there's healing, recuperating your energy after illness or battle. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this was like a mental battle, Scorpio. Somebody was trying to somebody was draining your energy mentally something's linked to your crown chakra something about your crown chakra keeps coming up you could have been very like tired mm. okay let's see Messages for Scorpio, please. We have Pele, goddess of volcanoes and fire. Pele can help you burn a flame of passion in your career and relationships and in your life as a whole. Coventina, goddess of sacred waters. She helps with abundance, healing, uh, she helps with abundance, healing with water, purification, and psychic abilities and prophecy. Detox your body and mind. Your auric field is weak due to picking on other people's negative emotions and energy. Lakshmi, goddess of good fortune. Call upon Lakshmi to help you attract wealth, fortune, power, luxury, beauty, fertility, and all the good things in life. You will have an abundant life even better than you imagined. Align your prosperity consciousness. We have Merlin, the magician. Merlin helps with alchemy, crystals, divine magic, energy work, healing, divination, and psychic abilities. You are the magician of your own transformation. You lack nothing. All the tools you need are inside of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the two cards that just came out together. Isis and Osiris. These are counterparts right here, Scorpio. Queen of the throne, Isis, goddess of fertility, motherhood, magic, harvest, dreams, divination, perspective, love, spirituality, and destiny. <clears throat> you are a powerful manifester that can easily manifest magic into your life. Believe in your own magic. Osiris, lord of the underworld. Osiris helps you overcome evil, let go of anger, or any negative feelings, and have success in your endeavors. How many loose ends and dangling threads are you keeping open to avoid the hard work of closing them? Hmm. I feel like you are closing things out here, Scorpio. But interesting that Isis and Osiris came out together. Um, like I said, I was kind of feeling new love coming into your life here, Scorpio. Any other messages here? Ayin, the fairy goddess. You can call upon Ayin for protection, healing, luck, fertility to spark your life or assist you in divination. Magic is brewing. Be ready to take a risk and allow it to bring you to life. So a lot here about magic um, going on, Scorpio. Metatron, Angel of Life. Arch Archangel Metatron can help clear our negative beliefs, fears, and clearing out any negative energy in general. Choose your thoughts carefully. Try to master your thoughts instead of being a slave to your thoughts. Thoughts, excuse me. So again, there goes the crown chakra. And then we have Kali, the dark mother. She will help make changes in your life, dissolve limiting beliefs, face fears, cut cords, and invite the wild divine feminine. Let go of what no longer serves you to allow the new to enter your life or the universe will do it for you. 
And uh, this whole choose your thoughts carefully with Metatron coming out. Try to master your thoughts instead of being a slave to your thoughts. Like I said, again, the crown chakra, the manipulation. We have Pombagira, goddess of sex. Pombagira can assist you in matters of the heart. Bring back a lover, sexuality, beauty, sex work, and the nightlife. Run from what's comfortable and live where you fear to live because it's never too late to be who you might have been. All right, so let's see what else we got going on here. Then I'll get some advice to close it out. Messages for Scorpios, please. <laughs> we have luck. Number 19, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Your birthday could be on the 19th, the 10th. You could be on October Scorpio. Your birthday could be on the 1st. You could be a life path one. Your fate is changing because of decisions you have made. You have set a new course and will be luckier than you have been for some time, but be decisive. An opportunity to completely reverse your fortunes in personal relationships and finances is likely. There is no place for self-doubt or pessimism. Stability and strength surround the changes now taking place as you are in charge of your circumstances. The key is to have faith and be optimistic. In regards to personal relationships, whether romantic or platonic, luck is all around. Singles could meet someone easier than in the past. Personal relationships will run a little smoother than, smoother than recently, and troublesome situations could be settled once and for all. Be sure to write out some positive affirmations to help the luck along. In regards to career and money, opportunities for strong career growth will be welcomed. Money wins are not uncommon, so be in it to win it. Take a weekly lotto entry or take part in other games of chance. Have a little flutter. The period is very auspicious with this card selection. You also seem to be at the right place at the right time to snare that certain deal, job, or other opportunity. An ad in the newspaper or online, even office gossip, could lead to a career change. Money-making ideas are also likely with this card, so keep a journal handy. Power tip. Wear red as often as you can and have a money or prosperity shower. Light a gold candle and place it in your bathroom where you can see the flame. Hop into the shower. Use luxurious oils, soaps, or shampoos, and with every drop of water, feel yourself being caressed into the golden light of the flame. Close your eyes and visualize gold money pouring all over you. It's raining gold. See it, caress it, feel it. Do this as often as you want. Mm, okay, Scorpio. Beautiful messages. <laughs> all right spirit messages for scorpios please if it is meant to be it will be you won't have to force convince or worry over it let it flow let it be and let it come to you. You are attracting everything you need. Trust the timing of your life. Spirit messages for Scorpios, please. When there are questions you need assistant, assistance with, go inward. Sit with yourself. Meditate on the question. Ask for our help also. Then trust your intuition as most often the answer and guidance will be delivered to you intuitively. We are with you always. You need to ignore what everyone else is doing and achieving. Your life is about breaking your own limits and outgrowing yourself to live your best life. You're not in competition with anyone else. Plan to outdo your past, not other people. And it says you are doing your best and that is enough. Any difficulties you face will not last forever. Release thoughts and feelings that don't feel good. Focus all of your energy on love, happiness, and your hopes and dreams. Advice for Scorpios at this time, please.
This card came out yesterday, I believe. Number 11, Ayana Vision, Way of the Divine Feminine Revealed. The Divine Feminine yearns to reveal her way and her wisdom to you so that you may live passionately and purposefully. As you trust her inner guiding voice, you recognize the authentic desires and visions that move you from within, that are the seeds of your sacred mission. You shall experience the clarity and soul-deep relief that only truth can bring. You shall experience a knowing of purpose that awakens your ability to live deliberately and experience deep fulfillment. A Yana vision is the blossoming awareness of your life purpose and true inner passion. You are lovingly pushed to admit to your authentic and most passionate soul yearnings, becoming bold with honesty. What means so much to you that you are willing to give up all that you have held onto out of fear so that it may be? What matters enough to you that you would symbolically die and be reborn with all the endings and uncertainty such growth entails so that your dream can become real? Don't turn away from yearning out of fear, practicality, or any other excuse to replace faith with doubt. Acknowledging your truth will bring you peace, even if admitting it also means facing the personal transformation required to bring that truth to life in your world. When it is truth, it is healing. Embrace it. Scorpios, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time. Bye.